Good evening, everyone. I'm Rod Wood. And I'm Christy Casciano. They know they can't make everyone happy, but the team behind the 15,000 page endorsement of the community grid to replace I-81 through downtown Syracuse is willing to listen. Those DOT leaders claim they already have listened and feedback has helped evolve the grid project to what it is tonight. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan explains how the state is trying to convince the naysayers. The 15,000 page report is mostly the work of engineers, yeah. but DOT in the state doesn't have all the answers. We want to have that engagement so that we can make the alternative better. Concerns and ideas that will influence the final design, but also got the DOT this far. The regional director points to a meeting at the On Center in the fall of 2016 when I got to ask members of the community what they think of the two ideas at that time. People at the meeting tell me they're impressed with how much detail has been provided to them by the state DOT. In fact, these giant table size maps are the biggest renditions anyone's seen yet of the two remaining options. At that point in time, we took a lot of public comment that has eliminated those missing connectors on the north side, has uh, developed the Business Loop 81 concept through Syracuse, which we think is, um, and has had a host of other uh, changes to this document that we think improves the document. If we don't mitigate, if we want to act like this project's done today and there's not mitigation, there certainly will be litigation. Um, that, that is a guarantee. I'm not a lawyer. The three of us are engineers. We're licensed engineers. And uh, I would leave that, that talk to the people who practice law as to how that would resonate within the project. I would hope that this step brings the community together. I would hope that this step um, if you have concerns, come meet with us and we can, we can figure out how best to address those. This is a huge opportunity for Central New York, a huge opportunity. And we think that um, we're well on our way to, to making a big difference in a lot of different avenues for a lot of different people. Even though the document is only three days old, I asked the regional director if there are already improvements he'd like to see made to it based on feedback he's already gotten. He says it's premature for that, Rod and Christie. Many, many changes, and one of those changes includes Business Loop 81. Explain that one to us. Well, I tell people to go to our website, localsyr.com, or our app to see the map for it. I'll tweet it out in just a few minutes. But basically, it's a state road that will have the same path as the current I-81, except for that 1.2 miles where the viaduct will come down. That's where people will have to use city streets. They can use any combination they want, but specifically, Almond to Erie to Oswego or Pearl will be the direct route that will be labeled 81, and it will take people north to south if that's what they want to do. It's going to be a long five years. It, it will be, but the, the DOT is committed to taking more comments from people, making sure as many people as possible are happy, and then, then doing their best to make sure the work goes smoothly. All right, Andrew, thank you.